Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I have some more details on the iPad 2. So, I have a post over here on Redmond Pi, and the title is iPad 2, 1 GHz dual core CPU, two cameras, no retina display, anti-reflective screen. So now these statistics are according to Apple Insider and some analysts that they got the information from. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go over a couple things here really quick. First of all, it will not feature Retina Display. Uh, according to the analyst, it will contain the same 1024 by 768 display as the original iPad. And this is a quote, and I'm going to go ahead and just read it. The improvement of iPad 2 display, the report notes focuses on thickness and anti-reflection not resolution iPad 2 display module is 30 to 35 percent thinner than the iPad 1 and it's helpful for a better form factor and another quote is thanks to anti-reflection iPad 2 could have better sunlight readable experience and it's helpful for Apple to compete with Amazon's fast-growing Kindle business now the last quote for the screen is the most important reason why iPad 2 won't have a retinal display is yield rate of panel making. At this point, making high resolution and bright IPS slash FFS panel is not easy and the production volume and cost couldn't meet Apple's requirements. So a reason why is because Apple is probably going to stick with the $499 price point uh, for the lowest end model and they couldn't produce them for that price so we'll probably see a retina display in something like the iPad 3 or the iPad 4 but according to these analysts uh, we will not be seeing a retina type display in the iPad 2 unfortunately so here is a chart that contains the list of components that the iPad 2 will feature and uh, the maker of these components so I will link you guys to this Redmond Pi post so you guys can check out uh, this table uh, it's pretty interesting. Uh, for instance, I didn't know that like LG and Samsung made the LCD panels on the iPads or uh, will be making them on the iPad too, but uh, now I do from this chart. So you guys should come over here and check out that chart if you want to know like uh, which companies are involved in making the iPad too. So now the next thing is that the iPad 2 will most likely have a Cortex A9 based dual core processor. So uh, this is the best news that I've seen in regards to the iPad 2. Now I have uh, suspected for a while that the iPad 2 will feature a dual core processor. However, the uh, reports just keep coming in that it's going to be a dual core processor. So that's the most likely thing. And uh, this is some really awesome news because that means it will be able to do more stuff in the back background it'll be able to run faster and uh, you will actually be able to get some better graphics out of it even though you're not getting that retina display uh, because it will be able to power a better graphics processing unit so uh, here's a quote that relates to the dual core processor and it says iPad 2 will use ARM Cortex A9 dual core processor running at 1.2 gigahertz increasing 1 to 2 percent single core processor clock results in a 3 to 5 percent power increase and dual core could get a better balance between computing power and power consumption that's why Apple will use the dual core for the iPad 2 so now on my iPad I get around 10 to 12 hours of battery life and basically what this is saying is because they're switching over to a dual core processor we will see an increase in battery life so that's really awesome as well now again according to these analysts they are expecting that uh, the RAM will go up to 512 megabytes currently the RAM in the first gen iPad is half of that so they're saying that it will increase multitasking and on-device video editing uh, but that is actually what the iPhone 4 has as far as RAM at the moment. The iPhone 4 has 512 megabytes, which is really lame in my opinion, because I would want my iPad to actually be faster and to run more tasks in the background than my iPhone. So uh, I would really like to see them try and step it up and put one gig uh, of RAM in there, but unfortunately I guess they're not going to do that. And the worst part is, is that the iPhone 5 will probably feature uh, one gigabytes of RAM. 
Now, when it comes to 3G chips, uh, the analysts said that they will be making separate GSM and CDMA models, and a Wi-Fi only model will be available as well, and it will not be uh, the dual compatible GSM and CDMA uh, chip that everybody was suspecting Qualcomm will be making and Apple will be implementing. Uh, so apparently they're saying that uh, the iPhone 5 might be set up in a similar fashion. So the last part is the dual camera system. Now, uh, they're saying that it's going to be similar to the iPod Touch 4th Gen as opposed to the iPhone 4 again, so it ha it's kind of under spec and they're probably doing this for price as well to keep it at that 499 mark. And they're saying that the front camera is only going to be 0 0.3 megapixels and the back camera is only going to be 1 megapixel. So uh, I really do not think that's great. I think they should have just went with the same cameras that are in the iPhone. I mean, honestly, if they would have bumped up the RAM to twice that and they would have uh, included the same exact cameras that are in the iPhone 4, then I would honestly pay an extra $200 for just that. And uh, they're also saying that it is expected to have an SD slot, so that will be great if you want to expand your memory. However, it's probably going to be a proprietary SD card that Apple will offer. You won't be able to just go down to your local electronics store and just buy a 2 gig SD card for like ten dollars and then just stick it in it won't work like that you'll probably have to buy specific increments like 10 gigabytes uh, 20 gigabytes and it'll probably be like 100 and 200 dollars for them I wouldn't really mind paying the extra money though if they actually did incorporate an SD slot so uh, I hope you guys like this video I was just keeping you guys up to date on the latest news for iPad 2 specs so just let me know what you think in the comment section below and rate this video up and you can also subscribe to me to be notified when I release more videos. And if you guys want to be updated more often, just be sure to follow my Twitter. A link to my Twitter will be in the more info. This is ICU, signing out.